Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to separate your drum sounds inside of Impact in Studio One. So that way you pretty much mix them individually, each individual sound, and also arrange each individual sound that you use when using Impact. Because that's the way I like to work. I like to have each individual sound so I can arrange them and mix them and all that and add different effects to each of my drum sounds. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it inside of Studio One using Impact. But before we get to that video, if you can, please subscribe to the channel. Channel, thumb it up, like it, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, and Mission Different TV. And also in the comments below, let me guys know what type of videos you want to see so I create them for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into Studio One right here. As you can see, I'm using the Atom Plus Impact, and I'll just bring it up right now. As you can see, we're using Impact, and I have this little simple drum loop right here. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Very basic, very cheesy, but it's gonna help, you know, kind of show what we're going for right now. Now, the problem with this drum sound, this drum loop, I per se, is that it's all in one channel right here, as you can see. My drums are distorting the clipping. I'm not able to, you know, arrange it the way I want to unless I go through and duplicate it and take stuff away. But that's too much time. We just want to separate each individual sound and also give them their own channel. That way I can add specific effects to them. So like say if I add a soft clipper or, you know, level them out how I want to and process them how I want to. So it's very simple inside Studio One and using Impact, it makes it even better. I think it's the best way to go about making drum patterns because also you get the new drum editor as well. So yeah. So the easiest way to first off, we're going to go ahead and give these they each individual channel first because that's the main thing so it's easy inside of impact xt wherever you got your sounds at you see i got all my sounds right here right here is but right here this little circle button you click that and it'll allow you to actually give it its own channel so right now you see it's on stereo impact but we're gonna do these days all mono sounds so we're gonna give them their own channel so all you gotta do is click like one like click mono one for the drums and that's gonna give its own channel then i go to the clap i'll do mono two for my snare i'll do mono three for my hi-hat, I'll do mono four. And for my cymbal, I'll do mono five because I say they're all mono sounds. And you see now it made four channels. So now when I play my sound, they have their own channels and I can mix them, arrange them. I can not, when I arrange them, but I can mix them right now, add different effects to them, all that kind of stuff, process them that way. It's good for you doing, you know, sample based stuff or anything like that. You want your samples to have different flavors and all that. Great way to do that. Now, what about arranging? How can we break this up? That's one thing I love about Studio One. It's super fast and super easy when doing it. All you have to do is right click on it and you would go to instrument part and right here it says explode pitch to tracks and what it's going to do is going to take each individual like channel or section of impact and give it its own channel so when you do that boom there you go and now it is its own channel so now if i go back press play They have their own mixer channel and they have their own section. Like I said, if I want to say mute the hi-hats, I can do or uh, mute the hi-hats. Now when I play it. And I can do all my arranging and stuff like that. Very simple, very quick, and very easy. I love that feature. And that's how I use Impact in the Atom to kind of make my own drums and, you know, do my drum arranging. And I love that because it's just easy. I can make a quick pattern, explode the pattern, arrange it, add more parts to it, change it up, and all that good stuff right there inside Studio One. So hopefully this tip helped you guys out. Hopefully it's a very beginner tip, but hopefully it helps some people out there who are trying to figure out how a way of working with drums. You know, you can do it all in Impact, click that button, explode it, boom, you're good to go and there you go so hopefully that helps so if you got any more questions please leave a comment uh like the video if you liked it like i said leave me comments below let me know know what you guys want to see in the next video so y'all know who it is it's your boy slim aka miss different not motivated by the money but the like subscribe, and views like always and i will catch you guys in the next video have a good one everybody